Two Tribes. Two Tribes is an anti-war song by British band Frankie Goes to Hollywood, released in the UK by ZTT Records on June 4, 1984. The song was later included on the album Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, presenting a nihilistic, gleeful lyric expressing enthusiasm for nuclear war. It juxtaposes a relentless pounding bassline and guitar riff inspired by American funk and R&B pop with influences of Russian classical music, in an opulent arrangement produced by Trevor Horn. Supported by a striking advertising campaign depicting the band as members of the Red Army and a wide range of remixes, the single was a phenomenal success in the UK, immediately entering at the number one position on June 10, 1984 and staying at the top of the UK singles chart for nine consecutive weeks during which time the group's previous single Relax climbed back up the charts to number two. It was the longest-running number one single in the UK off 1980s. It has sold 1.58 million copies in the UK as of November 2012. Songwriters Johnson, Gill and O'Toole received the 1984 Ivor Novello Award for Best Song Musically and Lyrically. In 2015 the song was voted by the British public as the nation's 14th favorite 1980s number one in a poll for ITV. A version of Two Tribes was originally recorded for a BBC John Peel session in October 1982. The session version makes clear that the basic structure of the song, including its signature bass line, percussion arrangement and idiosyncratic introductory and middle eight sections, were already intact prior to any involvement from ZTT or eventual producer Trevor Horn. Johnson also noted, there's two elements in the music, an American funk line and a Russian line. It's the most obvious demonstration of two tribes that we have today. To accentuate the musical tension, Horn arranged the Russian segments as a dramatic string arrangement. The driving funk slash rock rhythm section was played on synthesizers. The single was released at a time when the Cold War had intensified and fears about global nuclear warfare were at a peak. Although Johnson would attest in a 1984 radio interview that the two tribes of the song potentially represented any pair of warring adversaries, Giving the examples of cowboys and Indians or Captain Kirk and Klingons, the line on the Air America slash I modeled shirts by Van Heusen is a clear reference to Thena's president Ronald Reagan. Reagan had advertised for Phillips Van Heusen in 1953, briefly reviving the association in the early 1980s. The title of his first film had been Love is on the Air. The lyric working for the black gas is, according to Johnson, about oil surpassing gold. How you might as well be paid in petrol. And the line Are We Living in a Land Where Sex and Horror Are the New Gods? was inspired by the 1959 British film cover Girl Killer. Johnson explained, The TV was on in the background while I was doing the ironing and suddenly this character came out with that statement. The actual dialogue, which occurs at about 48 minutes 24 seconds into the film, is surely sex and horror are the new gods in this polluted world of so-called entertainment. The track featured snippets of narration from actor Patrick Allen recreating his narration from the British Protect and Survive public information films about how to survive a nuclear war. The original Protect and Survive soundtracks were sampled for the 7-inch mixes. The 12-inch A and B sides featured voice parts by British actor Chris Barry imitating Ronald Reagan. Barry also voiced the Reagan puppet on Spitting Image. Barry's parts as Reagan included praise for the band, as well as parts of Adolf Hitler's speech to a court after the Beer Hall Putsch. You may pronounce U.S. guilty a thousand times over, but the goddess of the eternal court of history will smile and tear to tatters the brief of the state prosecutor and the sentence of this court, for she acquits us. Barry also voices the last sentence of history will absolve me, Spanish, La Historia me absolvera, which is the concluding sentence and subsequent title of a four-hour speech made by Fidel Castro on October 16, 1953. Castro made the speech in his own defense in court against the charges brought against him after leading an attack on the Moncada barracks on July 26, 1953. Barry would return for the band's next single, The Power of Love, imitating Mike Reed in a parody of the DJ's band on their previous single, Relax. The song's title derives from the line when two great warrior tribes go to war, from the film Mad Max 2, the line is also spoken by Holly Johnson at the beginning of the session version. ZTT aggressively marketed the single in terms of its topical political angle, promoting it with images of the group wearing American military garb in combat, as well as Soviet-style army uniforms set against an American urban backdrop. The original cover art featured a Soviet mural of Vladimir Lenin in St. Petersburg, and images of Reagan and then UK Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. The sleeve notes, attributed to ZTT's Paul Morley, 
dispassionately reported details of the relative nuclear arsenals of each superpower. The song appeared in the form of six mixes, including Decimation Annihilation, Carnage, Himbakosha, Cowboys and Indians, We Don't Want to Die, and For the Victims of Ravishment. The first 12-inch mix, Annihilation, started with an air raid siren, and included advice from Alan about how to tag and dispose of family members should they die in the fallout shelter, taken from the public information film Casualties. This version appeared on CD editions of the album. Annihilation was the basis for the Hibakusha mix, which was originally released in a limited edition, and appears on the Japanese-only 1985 album Bang. For the Victims of Ravishment appeared on the LP and cassette editions of the album Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. It is the shortest version, at 3.27 minutes. This mix derived from the Carnage mix, which prominently featured strings as well as vocal samples from Alan and the group's B-side interview. Since 1984, Two Tribes has been reissued several times, generally involving third-party remixes bearing little relation to the original releases in terms of either structure or character. The 7-inch featured one February Friday, an interview between Morley and the group's three musicians, Mark O'Toole, Brian Nash, and Peter Gill, over an otherwise untitled instrumental track. A similar track had been included on the B-side of Relax, with the title One September Monday. The principal B-side to the original 12-inch single was a cover version of War, which became the subject of an extended remix, subtitled Hidden, on the single's third UK 12-inch release, where it was promoted as a double aside with Carnage. The UK cassette single featured a cut-together combination of Surrender, Carnage and Annihilation, plus Reagan snippets and interview sections note included on any other release. The Godly and Krem directed video depicted a wrestling match between then-President Ronald Reagan and then-Soviet leader Konstantin Chernenko in front of group members and an assembly of representatives from the world's nations. The match eventually degenerates into global destruction. Certain violent moments, Reagan is seen, for example, biting Chernenko's ear, were edited from the version shown on MTV. A longer version of the video, based on the Hippocusha mix, included an introductory Heavily edited monologue by Richard Nixon taken from an ad from his 1960 U.S. presidential campaign, No. Firm Diplomacy. No. Peace for America and the World, plus similar contributions from other world leaders, including Lord Beaverbrook, Yasser Arafat and John F. Kennedy. The complete soundtrack to the extended video was eventually released as Two Tribes, Video Destructo, on the German version of the 12 Inches compilation. A third version of the video, included on the band's compilation of videos, retains the introduction, but omits most of the inserted clips in the main wrestling sequence. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.